If you find content creation actually takes up a lot of your time and you feel like you're constantly spinning around about it, today I have three simple tricks that are going to help shift you out of the depletion and the exhaustion that's probably either keeping you from uh, doing it at all or you kind of do it, do it, do it, and you feel slammed against the wall. So let's talk about what they are. The first one is you have to assess yourself. Are you fire hosing your audience? What I see a lot is people who have a lot to say and a lot to teach, which is pretty much everybody if you're in the information space right now, um, and you have a lot to share with your audience because they have a lot to learn. And so people are just hammering us with information, gigantic posts, densely filled, unreadable, unscannable. That's basically fire hosing and your audience just can't consume it. So the first thing you need to do to streamline your content is assess yourself. Are you giving too much in your content? The second thing is to use what I call the fish food analogy. Once you realize like, oh, I'm giving everything all at once and you realize you can't do that because they can't consume it, go to the fish food, parse it out, give them a little bit at a time, let them come up and take a bite and take it back to their little castle and digest it. And then when they're ready because they understood it and they digested it and they're hungry for more, they will come back and get another nugget. So it doesn't mean that you constantly have to be regenerating stuff, but you do need to be repurposing it, giving them a little bit all the time so that they can consume it. The third thing that you can do to streamline your content and stop feeling so depleted by it or avoiding it altogether is to plan ahead in batches. So if you're somebody who's kind of splattering your, e your, your emails everywhere and your blog posts and your social posts and you just feel like you're ta your topics are all over the place, it's time to start batching things into content themes so that you're not constantly being um, being spun around by your content and your audience can stay with you because there's a thread that they follow through. And you plan it ahead in batches and it's easier for you to write because of course you're writing less because you're giving the fish food and you're just batching it out. It's better for them, but also it's better for you because you will be less exhausted and overwhelmed hiding from your content. Get off the content dreadmill. I hope this is helpful. Even if you put one of these into play, your life can really change with your content. My name is Jen Liddy. I'm a business development coach and I specialize in content creation. And I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, of course, leave a comment below. I would love to answer them. Okay, bye-bye.